A person in California could soon get health care paid for by the state. Today, the legislature will vote on a bill to create CalCare, a statewide single-payer health insurance program. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at how it would work, how much it would cost, and where that money comes from. With one bill, health care in California could change forever. AB 1400 would create CalCare, a single-payer health insurance program for every resident in the state. Well, the reality is that our health care system has far too many gaps, even for those that do have insurance. Assemblymember Ash Kalra from San Jose wrote the bill. He says the pandemic exposed problems in the current system. Studies show 7% of the state doesn't have health care at all. What we want to do is get rid of that, get rid of premiums, co-pays, detach health care from employment altogether, which is an incredibly inefficient archaic way to do it. But CalCare will cost a lot, an estimated $400 billion. And AB 1400 only provides the framework, not the funding. To pay for it, two-thirds of California voters will have to approve this, ACA 11, a separate constitutional amendment combining Medi-Cal and Medicare funds with a handful of new taxes. According to language in that bill, every business that makes more than $2 million would pay a 2.3% excise tax on their gross receipts. Any business with more than 50 employees would also pay a 1.5% payroll tax. And businesses would face another 1% payroll tax for any employee making more than $49,900. And people who make more than $149,509 would face a progressive income tax starting at 0.5% and going up to 2.5% for anyone making over $2.4 million. And this is not the first attempt uh, of trying to ram through a radical proposal like this. Those taxes are why Assemblymember Marie Waldron, who represents most of northern San Diego County, is leading the charge against it. She points out the estimated $400 billion price tag is more than the entire state budget recently proposed by Governor Newsom. She and other Republicans launched this online petition for people to voice their opposition. It's just unfortunate because of the high taxes that are going to result from this and and the less care that we're going to see. Cholera disagrees. He says this will save the state money by cutting down on administrative costs, fraud, and health care for profit, and lead to better care for everyone. We're already being fleeced. We're already spending a fortune right now for a current system that's ineffectual um, and immoral in many ways, and we can do better. Ultimately, it will be up to the legislature and then the voters to decide. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Well, here are some of the benefits CalCare would cover. Prescription drugs, medical devices, mental health services, dentistry and vision care, emergency services and transportation, hospice and skilled nursing facility care, as well as dialysis and prenatal plus postnatal care. Now, because it was introduced during the 2021 legislative session, AB 1400 must pass out of the assembly today or it is dead for the year. And we'll keep close eye on Sacramento and bring you any updates as they come along. You can also follow along and get alerts through our 10 News mobile app. It is free on Google Play and in the App Store.